Hello everyone, and Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. My name is Basilisk and I'm still your host, so let's get started. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. In the last episode, we did the first part of Temple Bubba's Castle. In this episode, we're going to continue on even deeper. Sod off. Sod off, I said. <coughs> Sorry, I've actually been doing a lot of recording this week. I don't think there's been a single day where I haven't recorded. And usually I go at least a day or two in between recordings. <clears throat> okay, good. The enemies didn't respawn. But after, um... Sorry. But with Christmas coming up soon, I don't know how often I'm going to have the time to record after this week. So I've been wanting to make the most of it. The downside is that my voice is really starting to hurt. <laughs> Anyways, we come up here to the main hall area. Holy vey. <clears throat> have to take a break after this episode. That'll probably be it for the day. <clears throat> Explode! Damn it, bomb bad. Messed up. Ooh. Oh. Alright, here's what we're going to do to deal with this guy. We're going to come back out here. And we're going to sneak up on him. There's two reasons we want to use Bombette on this guy. See, we got that crack he was hiding. <laughs> uh, party member damage being what it is, we're going to bring out... Gubario and let him do, do this. Or Cooper, I guess. Jeez. <clears throat> And we get a uh, experience boost. Get four experience instead of two. Uh, sorry. Okay. Into the hole. Now there's two cracks down here. I think we actually want to take this one. Oh, I'm a dummy. I am a dummy. Oh. We should have taken the middle one. This is how you get this badge. It's a defense down jump badge. You, can, you saw it in the shop earlier, and you can buy it there as well. Um, but, like with most attack badges, I'm not planning on using it. <laughs> Confuse all of them. Woohoo! Mm. Now, once we get back up here, I really, honestly, I kind of hope you're not playing along with me right as I put these episodes out. Like you're doing exactly what I'm doing, first off, because that's, I'm not great at this game. I do actually, if you play this yourself, I do actually encourage you to find your, no! <sighs> Shut off! I do actually encourage you to find your own play style and build that work for you. That was close. As opposed to just copying what I'm doing. Because there is a lot of variety to this game, including which order you upgrade your party members in, um, uh, what kind of build you do with Mario, all kinds of things. Plus whatever you spend your money on, you know? Alright, what you're supposed to do, if I wasn't being a dingus, is come down here and break that platform to, to expose that spring that I completely forgot about. I'm just completely using the wrong buttons. And coming down here, we'll just break that. So. Mm. Let's head onward. I kind of hate those bots. You don't see me. Oh, you see me. Screw you. Uh. Okay. Well, Beth's getting a lot of use in here. I kind of didn't expect her to, but hey. Away with you! The power bomb is so nice when facing large groups of high HP enemies. Bombette is a weird character, actually. She is one of the very few party members 
where all of her abilities remain useful. Because if you're only facing one enemy, there's no reason to use Power Bomb, you know? It's also a rare party member where all of her abilities are upgrades on her... All of her special abilities are upgrades on her regular powers. Uh, you'll see what I mean in the next episode, but... Or, not in the next episode. What am I on about? Next time I upgrade her, rather. Because her ultra ability is ridiculous. This room! If those spikes come up under you, you'll take damage. Plus, they'll send you back to the beginning of the room. You got the HP to spare. It isn't actually a bad shortcut, but... I don't. Well, I do, actually, so... This gives you a castle key. Let's just take the shortcut. Oh, <laughs> dingus. Alright, let's just take the shortcut. And you can actually get quite a bit before they spike you. Wow, I've actually taken a lot of damage. Oh, well. Actually, it might be worth my time to... I'm trying to remember where I'm at um, in terms of dungeon progression. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. What? How did that not hit you? Wow, you chased me for a while. Alright. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> well, maybe. There's something I want to check first. What? What? Oh, fudge you, asshole. What? Go away! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, for all my talk about getting a lot of use out of individual party members, here I am just blowing everybody up with my bet. <laughs> so many enemies in one fight, though. And thank goodness for damage dodge. And for when I completely stuff damage dodge up. Speaking of instant party of total enemy hits, I suppose I could dizzy shell these guys, but that would just make things take longer. Alright, I want to check the next room before- well, no, 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 I gotta come down here anyways. Because I want the star piece. Alright, now that I have that, we're gonna come down here. Take the shortcut to that heart block there, because I think there's still enemies on my way forward. Uh, I'm gonna need a bow. Actually, an interesting thing is... Instead of having the heart block there, I wish they'd made it that this boo that's down, that's hanging out down here heals you. Which I think would have been a more interest, would have been a more integrated mechanic. You're trying to, since you're trying to defeat Tubba Blubba, the guy who ate all of his freaking friends. And it would have been cute because, you know, boos. Can I? Thank you. Shut up. Honestly, I'm of the opinion that boos look better in 2D than they do in 3D. They look a little silly in the 3D games to me. But in the 2D games, they're just cute. Alright. Probably offend them if I told them that. Since I opened up a shortcut to the second floor over here, we're gonna take it. Continual forgetting how to use fucking special abilities for my party members. Jeez. All right. I seem to remember there's something you can do with this clock. Aha! Damn, I'm good. Remember if you can do anything with this yet, though. Um. 
I should be able to jump up onto something in here. What the hell? Or maybe you can't get to this area until after until secret. I don't remember. Uh, let's go up a floor and see what I find. Yeah, I cast key. Lock? Honey syrup. Maple! Oh, are you... I need to use some of these items. You know what? We're gonna use a lot of items in the upcoming boss fight. So, I'm gonna... I'll buy a mystery on my way out. I remember there being guards on this staircase. Whatever. Oh! I wonder. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a yutz. We're going back this way. Because we can get up to that bed. What we need to do is rock is walk over here. Check this drawer. Yeah, sometimes I can be a bit oblivious. Anyways, obviously that's telling us that we need to go that way. But but you can, but you don't want to bomb a hole. You want to come up here. Take these. Take this little hidden passageway to the Mega Rush Badge. When Mario's in peril, his attack power goes up by four. That means when you have two HP or less. Yeah. Um. For Danger Mario bat. For Danger Mario builds, that is actually an incredible badge. It's actually not that bad if you want it even usually, if in case you find yourself running low on HP a lot. I don't, so it's not useful to my build even remotely. Plus, if I recall, it's really... Oh, no, it's actually cheap. One H, one badge point, huh. Well, if you find yourself wanting to... If you find yourself low on HP, there's a badge for you. Because <laughs> that will give you one hell of a boost. Lighten the game, that's... Late in the game, that's actually ridiculously strong. Anyways, Paracar is... Double Blub is still stomping around up here. Make up your mind where you're going, Tubby. Oh, boy. Good thing he's slow. Let's pop in here. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. We're gonna walk through this room. Uh, there's two ways you can go about, about this room. One is to just fight everything. But instead, we're gonna walk up slowly. Grab the key. And see if I can kill... Every, and see if I can take them all out with bomb. But... Nailed him. And honestly, I do recommend you fight everybody in this room, even if you have to power bomb your way through it. Because the very next room has a uh, heart block, as the star is where the star block and save point are for this area. For this second star block and save point are for this dungeon. I knew that one was there. I was trying to remember where the other one was earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the attack FX badges on because, ooh, um, th since the regular party members still since the party members still use regular attack damage, and I've actually been doing more damage with them lately than I have with anybody else. Ugh. Really? There's only one of you this time? Okay. I'll take the free easy kill. 
That was when we find out that's the case for all of them. Except for that last one. Oop, shit. Oh, right, well, whatever. Whacking. What, really? Really? <laughs> okay. That was embarrassing. <laughs> well, if I miss with my bombs, I'll whack you with my hammer. Whatever. Alright, one of these guys has to have more than one clubba attached to him. Whatever. Alright, let's see what this guy... I kind of hate this action plan, I'll admit. Especially when I mess it up anyways! Uh, not even gonna bother trying to explode the- Oh! I finally found the one with more than one of these guys! I think there's one more after this one. Yeah, okay. Doing. Ooh, my defense boost. Okay, so I sh if I can block this one, I should be able to take the whole thing. Right on! I love damage dodge. Now, I do know what I'm going to do for my next two levels. Um, for my next two levels, I am going to... Why do I still bomb that out, actually? Uh, for my next two levels, I'm going to... Upgrade BP again. But then after that, I'm going to upgrade HP one time... And then, th after that, I'm going to alternate between upgrading HP, then BP, then FP, then BP, then back to HP. Until I run out, well... Hmm. Wow, okay, I'm... I, wow. Um, at least until, for, for the next four levels after that, because... So yeah, actually, I guess I know what I'm going to do for the next six levels. Hmm. Because at that point, after I hit that that last BP upgrade, I will have completed my badge build, so there won't be any need for me to use it. Um, for, there won't be any point. Uh, there won't be, at that point, any need for me to further upgrade my BP. So, I'll, at that point, I'll devote my attention entirely to my HP and FP. At that point, I think I might actually, by that time, I think I might actually have maxed out my BP anyways. Anyways, here comes Tubba Blubba. That's still fun to say. Yeah, if you're looking, you might be able to guess what his weak point is, now that you've seen his model a few times, but... It'll become apparent, not in this episode, but in the next one, because it's actually a really hard boss fight coming up. Yaki! Sorry, I just bumped my mic. Yes. <laughs> Give me the key. I actually like this. I like this song a lot. <laughs> Okay. 
Here's where he does it, Major Stupid. Not entirely super stupid, but still pretty dumb. Thanks for dropping us down a floor, although he actually prevented us from taking another shortcut. Let's go. Actually, no, that wasn't... Well, yeah. Because I'd have just gone straight across and then taken the shortcuts down to the top, down to the bottom floor that I have. I also disabled all the security bots, but here's where he does the... Ra here's where I... Sh so what do you mean by stupid? See his security bots anywhere? Yeah, he fucking busted them. Now they, now he can't, now they can't help him catch us. Door! If he catches you, you will be caught into a boss fight with him. And you can't damage him, so you'll have to run away anyways. Boo's coming to help out. I love the boos in this game. Nope! <laughs> No such thing. I'm out of here. Oh, sorry. I just bumped my mic again. Um, yeah. Yep. You're ghosts. Can't you go through walls and through his stomach lining? This is silly. <laughs> I love the booze in this game. And I actually really like this chapter in this boss fight, but this is kind of silly. You must go! Take point because I'm a chronic saver. Onward! No! I will not open the door! Screw you! No! Time to go. Out of my way, you. Ah! Well, this is a good time as I need to show off spook. off the clefs but left the Goombas? <laughs> okay. Yeah, he supercharges and he supercharges. I'm not fussed. With any luck, this will be the only fight I get into. Really? Now you're gonna... Ugh! Should have had bomb bet. Should have had boo with bow attack first. Does that would have killed the other one instantly? Oh well. Just slap the shit out of him. Hey, we're doing six. Oh no, five. He only has seven HP. Nice. Away with you, freaking Goomba prick. Yeah, you don't get experience for enemies that you scare off, so I don't recommend using uh, Spook too much unless you're in a low-level area. I'm not health. The coins, all right. Need that one. No. No! <laughs> You're not interrupting the music again, you fat frick pricks. No, oh, that's rude. We're not fat. Um, then that was rude. Ah! Local correct sucks. Anyways, let's go. And we're back at Boo Village. Hi there. Just keep heading down along the gulch. Yeah, I know exactly where it is. Hi there. Yeah, you might want to hide, buddy. Freaky truck outside. Oh! Grab that health and FP restored. Sweet. <laughs> Grab that health and FP restorative. Ugh. Well, then hide, you dork! Yes, you do. I've got to whack this block. Because I am a chronic saver. Okay, for a moment I thought we were in an automated cutscene. Switch! Or key. In we go. Boing! Uh. 
No! Darn it. Let's see if I can... Or I'll just kill this guy. And he gets a happy slap. And we get one experience. <laughs> No entry allowed. Yeah, man, going in anyways. This area is too narrow to really avoid them. Uh, Bo take care of him in case Mario gets lucky and we get a power boost. Yeah. And we do not. Still, we'll take care of him next turn no matter what he does. Thank you for that. Because I'm actually trying to avoid taking damage in this area. Because the boss fight's at the end of it. <laughs> Whoa! Sawed off. Absolutely no entry allowed. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, so you might notice that we just teleport back to Bo to, to, to Boo Village. I'd actually forgot, I'd actually thought there was a, another heart block and a save point ahead. Um, since there's not, and I don't have the time or the voice left to do the boss fight this episode, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. In the next episode, we will just ruin the boss's day. Actually, he'll probably ruin ours. This is the first truly difficult boss fight in the game, as I recall. Possibly I'm talking to my arse. Or possibly I'm about to prove myself wrong. But in the meantime, this has been Basilisk, and I will see you all then. Thank you, and good night, folks.